but I feel in today's R and B that the new R and B artists, do you feel like they appreciate the the crafts and, and and they appreciate the genre? And because you know, old old school R and B acts, they made R and B. Now more R and B is turned to more like pop. Um, do you feel like the new generation appreciates? the art of R and B, the true art of R and B. Well, I I think that I think that you have to ask yourself, what are these kids growing up on to appreciate? Like when is the last time when is the last time a love song was number one on mainstream radio? You know, on urban radio, when is the last time you had a, a love song, you know what I'm saying? Or a ballad, a real R and B ballad or so, you know, it's not it's not the kids' fault. You know what I mean? What what they're aspiring to be or aspiring to, and then you have to look at the the what they're competing against. You see what I'm saying? So Correct. when when you have a song called "Going Down in the DM," you know what I'm saying? That's you know that's top ten, top five, you know, for cl- going going close to number one, and you're trying to figure out your way as an R&B artist, like how do I compete with that song? How do I get into um, get into a meeting and, and people say, you know what, that's cool. I'm going to play your song right after I play what's going down in the DMs. You see what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, yeah. it's all a struggle. You see what I'm saying? And so now you have R&B artists that are not just trying to do R&B, but they're trying to survive. They're trying to, they're trying to thrive in a place where, you know, what we grew up on as R&B is no longer relevant. You know what I mean? It's oftentimes, right. I, you know, I, I, I had this conversation with about Adrian Marcel with, with you know with one of his guys Yancey, and I was like, man, Adrian Marcel is a young is a young kid. He's a kid, great soulful voice. Kid can write, can sing, can do it all. But you know when he was doing you know doing soulful music, just because it was soulful, they pushed this kid over to Urban AC. Like, how do you push a twenty three year old kid over to adult contemporary radio because it's a soulful song? And that right there lets you know that it, it's the, there's kind of no place for that type of thing to even compete anymore. So you're you're telling these kids, yeah, you know, if you want a career, if, if you want to have some money to buy yourself some new Jordans when they come out, or you know what I'm saying, if you want to work on your legacy and building a family, you can't. They have to do it with music that's going to allow them to be able to compete and to get paid. You know what I'm saying? So for me. You know, I'm I I do I got in at a good time. I got in when it was still fashionable to be creative, when you could still write a great song and it get played on the radio. I got in. So, you know, my way is different from everybody else's, but coming to twenty sixteen, you know, I gotta make some adjustments as well. You know what I mean? I just can't be stuck on maybe I deserve a please don't go. You know what I mean? I gotta I gotta move on up with this. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta, I gotta move on into this birthday world. I gotta move on into this, this, this she with the shit world. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get into that world along with the relationship goals and the sex of and pain too. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, it's like we see in the NBA now, man. It's a lot of combo guards. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't just hire a point guard that can do one thing. You gotta have a point guard that can do everything. Right. That's what music has become. You gotta be, you have to be, you have to be musically. Uh, ambidextrous. You got to be able to be able to do it all, and so that's just where we are, man. So, Bert, um, the new single, uh, B Day, Chris Hashtag Brown, B Day, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's, now, with that being said, is that the reason for the new sound of B Day with Chris Brown? That's another hot record. You got a lot of. If anybody, you gonna have this album? Go get the new Tank album. There's no song on there you're gonna be disappointed with. And I'm hard pleased. That album is probably one of the best R&B albums I've heard in the last five years. <laughs> but new birthday well, single. Well, I think going with it with the single, you know, because we've we've had records like that. You know what I mean? With that, you know, with with tempo and you know, and with a few guys on it, but we've never led with them in terms of a single. You know what I mean? And so you know, we we jumped out there first with the uh, You Don't Know with Wale. And that record is, you know, of course, it's a throwback, and it's, you know, it's what they know me for. It's got the lyric, it's got the melody, you know, it's got me singing all over the place, and then it's got Wale romancing the ladies as well. 
And then we said, okay, we got that. Let's let's do that. We do that well. Let's keep that. Now let's just add, let's add value to ourselves by going to a totally different space where they may not even recognize us. Let's go open some new doors. Let's go visit some different radio stations. Let's go perform at some different events. Let's grow. You know what I mean? As a brand, let's grow. Let's be better. Let's be bigger. And that's the plan for this project. 